whenever I'm ready. Oh, fuck! It's the two fat guys on the internet. Hello, I'm fat guy Dan Pansig, and the other fat guy on the internet is Tony Schultz. The two fat guys on the internet. If you're a fucking fat I'm fucking full-grown Aussie, this is what you'd have for breakfast, you fucking dog cunts. A fucking VB long neck at 20 to 8 in the fucking morning. Get that up, yeah. Uh, how you doing, you, you dog cunt? Get that up, you quarter to eight in the morning. Uh, we have no robot. We may not ever have robot. It's a long story. Well, would tone what's happening with robot? Uh, well, Mamba's communications with me reveal that he's gone again. So my guess is he left in a knit or a Twitter or a, he left in a huff. He left in a Huffington Post. I'm trying out insults, Dan, so if I get a little spicy in this one, I'm I'm seeing how those work out for me and you pinhead. I just can you can can you hit me with one for fun? You fucking you you fucking you you burnt matchstick looking guy. All right, yeah, no, that's good. That's that's it, it needs work, but it's it's getting there. Y- y- you screw leg. I like that. Mostly hey. because I have screws in my leg. So. Oh yeah, hey, that one works out of nowhere. So so you know, bit bit sensitive about that tone, but thanks. <laughs> I'm not. You're fucking, it's fine. Uh, hashtag. I'll tell leg anybody leg. about screw legs. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> So yeah, Robot got mad at Tone because him and Mamba banged. They're still banging. And uh, he's going to not be here. He hates he hates Tony. He's always hated me. But, you know, I've been giving him drugs in exchange for drums. So we'll see what happens. Y- y- your skin nail. <laughs> Is there news, Tone? <laughs> Oh, news? let me let me check the news. Uh, Who is Tone? Oh, I got a fucking new idea, Dan, for music that's never been done ever before. Oh my fucking God, dude, that that will make us millions. Are you sure you want to say it on the program? Oh, totally. I I yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Let's have it. <laughs> let's let's have at it. <clears throat> See, you get yourself a song, Dan. Yep. That's someone's already done. Okay, well you're you're already off to a bad start with never been done before, but go ahead. No, this has never been done before. But then you take that song That's already been done, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you uh you do you you take the words and you make the words different. Like what? stay with me here. You take wait, a song. T- wait, wait, hold on, Tony. Hold, is is that legal? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Go on. You take a song like for example, Weird Al's Like a Surgeon. Yeah, classic, you, classic, you, classic 80s number. And then you change the words mm-hmm. to something like, I, I need a bourbon. And in rolls the money, Dan. Again, I'm not totally sure this is... Let the, me give you another example. I'm not sure you're, you're getting this. Put it so, in me. Uh, put it in me. Let me take another song, for example, uh, just to pull a random song out of the air, like Another One Rides the Bus by Weird Al. Classic, classic song. He's he's the yeah. songbird of every generation. You, you would sing something like, the squirrel has lost his nuts. It's a little crude. Of it. And then you'd make it about like a squirrel's journey, losing his nuts and possibly getting them back, or never. Why, would, them why back. would you want to? Why would you want to write a song about a squirrel getting castrated? It's the way the world works now, man. I, I don't make the rules. Because of woke. Yeah, probably. Right. Uh, isn't that the problem for everyone? <laughs> Literally everything. But tone, uh. I mean, you need another example, because, I mean, I, I feel like no one's done this before, and we really need to corner the market here. I'm going to need uh, at least pick, one more example, but I'm, one, still, one, I'm still worried about the legality of it. Tom. You see, it's perfectly fine. I've run it by all my dog lawyers, and they say it's perfect. Well, all right, if the dogs say so. 
be you, you, you. They're hard to argue with. Let me just say that. <laughs> so you are not wrong. Anyway, example. So please, say I you need, take I need, a, I need a to song, wrap my head around this. A random song of, of just let's say, "Party in the CIA" by Weird Al. Classic song. You, you'd want to take those lyrics, "Party in the CIA," and then you'd want to say like, "I got my check on Friday." Hey, hey. And and then that's a whole different song, that's but seamless, people already Jonas, know seamless. the so people already know the party in the CIA song, and like they'll be generally more uh, they'll look positively on your song because they know the melody, but but then they'll be like, well, those aren't the lyrics I know. <laughs> this is about a squirrel trying to find his nuts. I I think people will mostly be worried about the legality of it all. I've run it by the Dalmatian. I have run it by the Schnauzer. There's other dogs, and I've run it by how them. many? How many dogs though, Tone? Twenty-two. Yeah, that that should be enough. I think that'll you, hold. You up. know, sorry, twenty-three, but that I mean, one's dead now, so we'll just go. I, that, that 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 shouldn't matter in the long run, really. <laughs> no, no. No, it doesn't matter because uh, dead. Dog's opinion doesn't change after it's dead. But yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not like he wrote it down. He doesn't got thumbs. Oh, well, that may be a little more difficult. Which this new insult slinging tone would be like, you thumbless drongo. It's, I like that. I like how you're incorporating some, some Aussie slang into it, Tone. A fucking VB long neck. You know, I I just like the Aussie men's. Does that does that seamlessly transition us into another segment tone? Fading them fucking full grown Aussie. What you have the, the segment for us? Well, I mean, I don't know if you'd call it a segment, but I have a thing for us. We don't. I don't we have a segment has music. I don't think we have music. It's for this. Aussie drugs, you drunk. You fucking dog cunts. Ooh. And uh, here we go with Aussie drug slang. I looked up Australian drug slang on the Google. You fucking dog cunts. I'm going to have a bong hit while you talk. Please do. And I found a PDF of the, 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 the dictionary. What is it? The Alcohol and Other Drug Slang Dictionary. And uh, we're going to go through a few of these, uh, the ones that aren't already known to us anyway. And uh, we will uh, laugh at them. Tone, are you are you prepared? Hit me up, you dog's cunt. You fucking dog cunts. <laughs> let, me, uh, let, let me let you finish coughing and all that first. Uh, <laughs> There we go. Okay. So my first favorite one is Backy Bong Tone. Backy Bong? Oh, like a what? tobacco bong? It's a tobacco bong. Who the fuck would? Gross. Tone, what do you reckon uh, Bicky is? What, one more time? Bickies. B-I-C-C-I-E-S. Bickies. 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 And remember, the whole other side of the world, it's going to be something different. Benzadrine. Ah, ah, oh, close uh, tone. It's short for disco biscuits, uh, which is apparently MDMA in tablet form. Oh, kidok. What do you think of Billy is tone? Uh, uh, what is a Billy? Is there Bob Thornton variety? It's all I know is is it's a Billy tone. Tone, uh, it's what they call a bong, apparently. Oh, I, yeah, I like that. Sorry, it's a Get cannabis it. water pipe, because they had bong already, but Billy is a well, cannabis water pipe, so maybe they're well, calling a bubbler a Billy. Well, check this connection out, Daniel. Uh, what, like, what do you reckon? What do you so reckon if you got you a bong... Oh, this is good. So if you got one of our water pipes from here, but put it behind a water pipe from Aussie Men's, it would be a Billy bong, right? 
screen it, neat, 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 neat. And ain't that like an Aussie? Ain't they billabonging, Dan? They, they are on the beach billabonging. Tone, what do you think blue meanies are? Uh, a wrestler from the Blue World Order and ECW and the 90s and early Techn- aughts. Technically correct, but in Australian drug terms, what do you think? Bill, uh, fucking blue. Uh, it's got to be some pills, right? Some pill. Mushrooms, baby. Oh, shit. The blue meanie. Let's see. Uh... Oh, doodly doo! These are all uh. Oh, uh strap on an old cunt. Apparently, they call plugging a booty bump because rectal administration of a drug is called a booty bump. <gasps> a booty bump. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> like dry jamming from your thumb. It just says rectal administration of a drug, so I would imagine so. <gasps> hmm. Excellent. Uh, they call shit. gravity. They call gravity bongs bucket bongs. There. Oh, that's pretty on the nose. What do you think Calvin Klein is, Tone? What What's the last one you said there? What do you think Calvin Klein is? What, you, I know you want me to say underwear, and I'll be wrong, but you can say whatever you want, Tone. I don't I don't want you to it's say damn morphine. Thing. It's cocaine and ketamine used in combination. Well, that's an odd mix. It is, isn't it? The, I don't know if the, this is a, I don't know if this is a go curve. up. The, like, I don't know if this is a term here, Tom, but what what do you think Charlie is? Charlie? Mm-hmm. So that must mm. not be a term here. Okay, cool. Uh, Chuck Bucket, Vomit, uh, Bad Gem, uh, Ayahuasca. <laughs> cocaine, boys. Oh, just the cocaine. What do you think Changa is? Changa's gotta be weed, right? It's DMT in cigarette form. <laughs> <laughs> D- Why is everything with the DMT cigarette? in cigarette form? Oh, finally, finally, someone's <laughs> put the two together. <laughs> There's got to be a better way. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck tobacco. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! A pejorative term to describe a woman who exchanges sex for methamphetamine. Oh, that's a crack sheila, that is. Fading a fucking full-grown Aussie. <laughs> crack sheila. Oh, my God. Uh, do you know what a dury is, Tone? That's a pretty easy one. Well, well, you kangaroo slit. <laughs> I really don't. What is it? Dury's a cigarette. Oh, well, they, they love their cigarettes. They do. Me too, also. Uh, geez, there's so many that are just the same as here. Um, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, Darb is tone. D A R B. Darb. Has, are we finally? Is this weed? <laughs> cigarettes again, though. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any more uh, cigarette slings? <laughs> let's see here. Uh, oh god, there's they're all there's so many and they're all so stupid. Uh, what do you what do you reckon a gray nurse is, Tone? A cigarette. <laughs> it's a morphine tablet. <laughs> <laughs> now it's morphine. <laughs> This game is dumb. Oh, this is, this is really, really stupid. Uh, hit me with one more. I, I'll, I'll give got you. This let here. me find a good, good, glibbity good one for you. Uh, la 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 la. Uh, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Persian rugs is tone. <laughs> Persian rugs. Why? Well, I, I believe they come in a pack of twenty. You buy them at the convenience store. Cigarettes. It's just a term for drugs. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Play the music, Johnny. Aussie drugs! Fucking drongo. Holy... What the hell is that? They got all the way... It's like the Alaskans with snow. 
It is. Like they have I what I understand to be seven hundred and thirty seven thousand words for Snowtown. That is what I've heard as well. I've also ran that past the dogs. That's that's the dogs know and, and, and what they know is everything. They are my consultant team, and I wouldn't change it for all of the billiard games in the poker room. I mean, we do love our billiard pokes. <laughs> this is the high-quality entertainment you get here. What's, what's in the news, Tone? <laughs> I think you told me to write a note that said, Tone, take a note, please. Oi and communism are basically the same. Are they not though? Like, so if there's if there's one thing that those two things have in vast common, it's their love of work. Oh, like yeah. like work is the greatest thing ever. Being a worker is the greatest thing ever. The the, the working class and all that. Mm, that sweet sweet labor. And boy oh boy. I don't get it. Oh, I don't understand. Buddy, I know a... being like the working class is, 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 is what we are. And uh, we do need to band together and rise up against rich assholes and blah, blah, blah. Wait, you're not enjoying our gradual grinding into dust? <laughs> Come I mean, on. you know, <laughs> it's a way. It's a living. <laughs> uh... <laughs> But if there's one wow. way, to get, if there's one way to get me personally disinterested in anything, it's telling me how much work is going to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. It's like let's 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 sing endless song after song about how great it is to work and how working is awesome and workers are so great, <laughs> and then let's have literature after literature about how the workers and working is so great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what also is cool is like all of the fucking jobs that everyone's foundation for that philosophy is made on is not even available much anymore. <laughs> Pretty much that too. Yeah, there's there, hey, there's babe, all of that. Don't you dare flip a burger, you fucking stupid dog cunt. You fucking dog cunt. I mean, it's definitely better than being on Team Bootstraps. You're a dog because cunt. Those people and are you're delusional. You're a dog cunt. And you're a dog cunt. And over there, dog cunt. All I'm saying is Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, You fucking dog cunt. Amen. This is a bad news. Let's, let's intermission. <laughs> <laughs> A willa 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 willa. Monsieur Pensig is a mighty fine fella. My mouth does a walk to my boy. Cannot walk, he always has an ear. A game of worms is always near. No fed, not bad, and a really good gent. The nicest boy with the nicest joy. He's always there when I need to vent. Open arms and a busted knee. We murder worms on the nightly. Mr. Pansig, you are the best. Denying the rest. See my vest, see my vest. You love a good Simpsons quote. You also wrote a song about pissing on a boat. Won't love. Well, hey, Tony, hi. You're a hell of a guy. Quite easy on the eye. You make a fine pizza pie. You're my guy. You're the best. You back a mess. You got zazz and zest. I heard you even touch your breast. I don't jest. I don't joke. The man's enjoys a toke. You best listen when he spoke, even if his spine is broken. This is the part where I run out of words like I always do, but God damn it, Tony, you're, you're such a good dude. You're fucking awesome. I love you, Tony. Fuck. God damn it. Get through your fucking head. You're the best. What the fuck? How many times I gotta fucking say it? You're great! God damn it! Well, hello! And we've returned from another beautiful song. It's a great song. It's about Good beans. Stuff. The guys that make these are really putting in lots of work. 
<laughs> they are effort machines, let me tell you, boys. Tone, what's in the news? Well, I it was since we looked up Aussie drugs, it got me all inside, hot and bothered, and Ooh. I was thinking of the old Nantucket fucking limericks. Oh so my God. It brings us to a new segment we like to call, uh, I don't know, Reading Dirty Limericks. Put in the reading music. Do 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 do. You know that. You know the song. Which one? This one. That's the exact one I meant. Oh God! How did you know? Fuck yeah. Anyway, I found a site. It's 43 old and funny dirty limericks. <laughs> We're going to read them all twice. We, we should. <laughs> we really, really should. Let's go through every single one of them. Who would like to start? You can You can go. You discovered them. You get the, because uh, it's a good one from what I'm seeing here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by reading the whole title, description, and everything. It says, Welcome to our Dirty Limerick Collection. You must have quite a refined taste for historical and high wit, for you are about to be delighted, as well as tormented by the word play. Warning, rude language ahead. <laughs> there once was a man from Devizes, whose balls were the differing sizes. One was so small you couldn't see it at all, and the other so big it won prizes. <laughs> I liked the part where they talked about his balls. I gotta say, it's funny. Okay. <coughs> there once was a man from Leeds who ate a packet of seeds. Within the hour, his dick was a flower and his balls were covered in weeds. Weed balls. His dick was a flower? And it yeah, spelled they like, flour like bacon. bread baking flour. <laughs> That's beautiful. <clears throat> Anyways, there once was a senator from Mass who wanted a strange piece of ass. He lucked up and found it, but screwed up and drowned it, and now his future is past. It's dumb as hell. Oh, there's the Nantucket one. It's right on, right on top here, basically. Go for it, Tone. There once was a man from Nantucket, with a dick so long he could suck it. He said with a grin as he licked off his chin, if my ear was a cunt, I would fuck it. <laughs> Is that really the one? Is that V1? That's pretty great, honestly. It's something with Nantucket. <laughs> That's all I know about that one. Anyway, anyway. There was a young lady from Brighton who had an incredibly titan. Heavens above, it fits like a glove. Oh, so you ain't put it in the writing. <laughs> fucking titan. Oh, oh a titan. God. You know, it's a tight. It's like a, like a, like you know, Yeah, I'm gonna just drop it. It's, it's gonna know. make that anime a whole different show. <laughs> Attack on Titan. <laughs> A twisted old dude named Lee had a thing for a woman's knee. He tossed her a coin, she kicked in his groin, and now he is known as Sicily. Nah. I don't get it. Anyway, uh, yeah. the recently single dude Martin told his ex-wife, since our parting, I've had women and men, several geese and a hen and a hoover that's just right for starting. <laughs> now we're talking, boy. That man's putting his schling and everything. Ooh, dog cunt. You fucking dog cunt. Oh, I don't know about that one. This one's pretty stupid. <laughs> I think I'm skipping that one. Two <laughs> lesbians from north of the town made 69 love on the ground. Their unbridled lust leaked out in the dust in so much mud they drowned. Oh, uh, we just want to let you know the one we skipped is a racist one, okay? And also hey, something else, too, but yeah. Don't want to be doing the racists. There once was a man from Sprocket who went for a ride in a rocket. The rocket went bang, his balls went clang, and he found his dick in his pocket. 
Only 36 oh. left, Gay. <laughs> Keep it real. There was a man named Daddy. Wait, no, 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 no. Daddy, no? Daddy, oh, it's got to be right. Oh, okay. Because he was from Encino. There once was a man named Daddy, O. Met a handsome young man from Encino. The pleasures they had. Ugh, uh, never mind. <laughs> There was a man named Dino, but a handsome young man from Encino. The pleasures they had made them both glad, but the neighbors all found it obscene. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. God. I, there once I was a one. fellow O'Doul, <laughs> and little red spots on his tool. His doctor, a cynic, said, me get, said, get me out of the clinic, and I fucked it up, and wiped all that lipstick, you fool. Oh, man. I, I got one more in me, and I'm calling this. Go for it. Go Let's for it. Let's see. Let me spin the wheel down here. Scroll it on down, boys. Oh, here we go. Listen, uh, there once was a man named Bruno who said, fucking isn't the one thing I do know. Sheep are just fine and women divine, but llamas are numero uno. <laughs> And that's been a horrible limerick segment that we only semi-regret. <laughs> fucking llamas must be the fucking bee's knees. People like a llama, I guess. We're gonna we're gonna have to find out, man. I mean, these dog cunts these days, dude. I tell you. They need a very, very long neck is what they need. I parate. Little dog, you have to be a little dog. Get involved. You build me up. Smack God, me up. You care about that. It don't miss it. He's on her booth. Me up. Man, get off. Me up for it. Drive some VB long neck up in ya. Tone, what's in the news? There was... Oh, I don't think I could get my dick hard during the apocalypse, Dan. Really? Yeah, like, I mean, if the world's... Blo- you know, in the movies, they're always like, Oh, shit, we gonna die, let's fuck. I mean, there's, I there's know, always man. at least one person in there, yeah. I'd be, like, super... Just, like, I don't know, like, you, your mind's on other shit. I, it'd be hard to focus, is all I'm saying. I mean, would it though? Have you ever, have you ever, I mean, have you ever found yourself in any kind of precarious situation while bang a lang away? Well, once I've already started, it's, that's, I'm just saying, trying to get. No, the like, you haven't, like, started in a, in a, in a, in an iffy situation? Yeah, there's, like, babies burning next to you and shit. That seems How like are there a hard any babies? Time. Why would it's there a... be babies burning next to you wherever the fuck you are? <laughs> because it's the it's the apocalypse in my mind, Dan. Are there, are there babies pl- in, your, in your home? <clears throat> there might be during the apocalypse. It might rain burning babies. You don't know. I mean... I'm so, so so you're you're saying that you believe in some kind of biblical cataclysm event then? No, I'm just that's what they all. It's all some burning babies, isn't religion? Right? Isn't that what they think? I'm well, sure. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you're <laughs> saying basically that you subscribe to the Bible then? All right, what I'm saying here, for the record, and add this to the record. Put it on the record, boys. When the fire babies rained down. In the apocalypse, I will find it hard to get sexually <laughs> But the only kind of actual apocalypse we'd have is, like, nuclear or heat death. Yeah, I mean, they can strap them to babies and just th- fucking strap I don't think, them to I don't think they would. I don't think they would strap them to babies. Tony, you gotta get these babies out of your head. I don't know why you're thinking about dead babies so much. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What, what government, governments that, don't Dan? tend to use baby bombs anymore. That's more yeah, of like a forties thing. Yeah, but the they're dead and on fire and Well that's got nothing ap- to do with you. <laughs> what apocalypse now? Like no no dead there were, baby. There were no how dead babies in that either. <laughs> how apocalypse? How it do now? No baby dead fire. 
Babies will die and babies will be on fire, but that's not from oh. that's not the that's not the apocalypse oh, happening. Fuck, thank God. Like the bombs will burn the babies. The burning babies don't fall from the sky. They might. They won't though. You show me the fucking report that says there's definitely no babies on fire coming from the sky. I would counter challenge you to find me one doomsday theory apocalypse that that says raining dead babies with part of it. <laughs> well, I would, sir, I would challenge you to jump right on inside of my head, and you could see him clear as day, just raining down fire and. Yeah, and they splat when they hit the ground. You think they're like cooked hunks of meat, but they haven't burned all the way. And... <laughs> <laughs> and then and that's been our show forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the music. I hear it. Oh god, just in time too. Oh shit, what a program. Well, we were two fat guys raining babies in the apocalypse. We are two fat burning rain babies in the apocalypse. And we are likely always going to be two fat raining guy baby apocalypse on the internet. Go fuck yourself.